Hello, I am Grimwit from NatchEvil.com, and with me today is my best friend Chuck. Hello! Chuck. Hello again! Chuck, you are apparently famous. There were five comments in our last episode, and of those five comments, uh, two of them mentioned your name. I know, I and I am really excited. Forty percent of your fan base likes me. Supposedly. And that is, that's two people, and to be perfectly honest, that is two more fans than I had yesterday. So I am really excited. Let me catch you up real quick. Uh, earlier this morning, out of a fit of complete boredom or masochistic boredom, one of the two, I decided to go ahead and take the trip down to uh, Cloud Base Southwest on the opposite end of the galaxy so that I could get to the Pyranid people. Uh, the purpose of this, of course, is to make friends with the Pyranids and buy heavy, uh, heavy weaponry from them. Um, I have a question, actually. Yes. Um, the Pyranid people, do they have, like, an all-encompassing leader, like a governor or a president? Uh, they have a priest duke. Or oh, okay. No, I'm sorry, priest emperor. So, in other words, it might be important later in the game to be able to talk to the Pyranid head. I'm going to ignore that pun. <laughs> Silent Hill reference from nowhere. <laughs> oh, I tried way too hard on that one. Do you just edit that out, please? No. Let me catch you up. Uh, uh, Forty percent of your people will say, "Oh, it was okay. Just average." <laughs> Let me catch you up, uh, people who are watching this. Uh, Chuck is my blind and deaf friend. He yes. cannot see nor hear what's going on in the game, so I may be describing to him what's going on. Now, right now, what's going on is I'm flying through space, Chuck. Just so you know, imagine yourself flying through space very slowly. It's kind of like watching the movie 2001. Okay, great. I have now veered clear of the space, baby. And I'm in open space. All right, I got it. I got it visualized. All right. No aim. So what's happening around us? Uh, stuff is passing by. There, there are stars. There's a planet over in the corner that's spinning, and we're moving. <laughs> that planet is spinning. We must solve this problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could. I have actually uh, uh, read up on the semi sequel to this game, the X Tension. They they made several improvements to the X game. They, they basically Target listened... On. Gate Emperor Mines. There we go. I'm about to head into Emperor Mines. Um, they basically listened to their fan base and said... When the fan base said, this game is really boring, and they fixed it. So honestly, all the other games past Emperor this first game is, is pretty decent. Then I have a question for you, my friend. Yeah. Why are you playing this game? Because this was... I, I, I started on this game for two reasons. I, I began playing this game because it is the first in the series. And it is the only game with a definite ending. The other games are all open-ended. They, they have no ending credit scene, as it were. Um, they do have... They are better. They are all exponentially better. Even the next one, X Tension, is exponentially better. I'm turning off verbose mode. Hang on a second. There we go. Verbose mode deactivated. <laughs> Chuck, you're my verbose mode from now on. Let's Pull float through empty space for another 45 minutes. I'm excited. You know how long it took me? Straight flying. Just straight flying. Target from Chin's Cloud on. back to... Uh, Cloud base southwest. Um, I'm assuming you're going at maximum speed. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> One how hour. Would I for that? One oh. hour. Oh, well, how much is that in gameplay time? One hour. <laughs> An hour of real time. An hour of me flying time. this ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's... wow. Why are you still playing this game? Target now. Do you have hair left? I mean, you've been ripping it out the whole time? What are the first two rules of any Let's Play? It's in the Let's Play handbook. I know, I know. Finish what you start is the second one. 
I have the walkthrough in front of me. In fact, I'm very prepared for this trip. I've got we coffee next to me over uh, here this time. Pegasus. I learned a lot from yesterday. So I've got my coffee, I've got my cell phone handy. Um, I brought a deck of cards. Now, I have a book on. of Parodid. jokes. A book of jokes. Yes, I, I got a book of jokes so that if need be, I can access this book of jokes. No aim. There were three men on a hill with their watches. The okay. first man threw his watch down the hill and it broke. The second man threw his watch down the hill and it broke. The third man threw his watch down the hill, walked all the way to the bottom, and caught it. The other two men were puzzled and asked the third man how he did it. And the third man said, Easy! My watch is five minutes slow! hey -o! You're fired. <laughs> oh! Oh no! No, I can do better! <laughs> I don't think you can, Chuck. Come on, boss, give me one more chance. Can you give me a space joke? I'll give the proper credits. This is kidsastronomy.com slash jokes. How do we know that Saturn was married more than once? I'm going to guess because Saturn had many rings. Okay, next joke. When do astronauts have lunch? Astronauts have lunch at space time. No, they have it at launch time. Well, at least you tried. <laughs> space Why jokes in space. Space. Uh, space. In space. Um, you didn't think this through very, very far, did you? I did not think this through at all. I should have just come in blind like I did yesterday and not tried to get jokes <laughs> and talk about whatever it else we talked about. I'm really hoping you edit this out. Maybe I can find out some more about X Beyond the Frontier and read that. All right, try to find out more about X Beyond the Frontier. I am attempting it. Good lord, it's a big ship. Okay, here's some stuff about X. All right, tell me about X. Okay, there are 54 star systems in the X universe. And within each one, there are numerous installations. There's at least one space station in each system. They range from ordinary factories like solar power plants to shipyards. Um, by playing with them, blah, 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 blah. Increase cargo space. Um... Wow, this is even more boring than flying through empty space. I'm going to have to disagree with you, Chuck. <laughs> well, here we go. Here's a little criticism of the game for you. All right. Maybe this will help. Okay. I think I already know the answer, but go on. Oh, X colon BTF was also praised highly for its spectacular background graphics, such as gorgeous colored lights and the highly detailed rotating planets. So, apparently, the game Target reviewers are impressed with, and I quote, Parodid gorgeous Parodid. colored lights. <laughs> um, however, X colon BTF sounds like a disorder, now that I think about it. It received criticism for, uh, from some for giving the player so little equipment to start with. The ship is slow, traveling between installments at first takes a long time. At first? I thought it takes a long time now says here you need a Singularity Time Distortion Engine? Yep, I have one of those. Why can't you use that? I am using it, and it still took me an hour to get from one side of the universe to the other. Hmm. Um, the combat system was also criticized as, quote, being more of a goal to be overcome than a challenge to be relished. No aim. Especially given the suicidal and kamikaze nature of enemy pilots who appear constantly to wish to ram the player. This is very true. Oh, that's all the negative criticism. Everything else is positive. Okay, we, we do have kind of an update here for you, Chuck. Okay. Um, I decided to go ahead and wander around the Pyranid areas so that I could find something to fight. They are all dying before I can get to them. Wait. Oh, what? oh, oh, I might be able to kill this guy before the other guys do. Oh, I see. So you've... You can show up in the middle of two other groups' firefight. Target is yes. That, that's an interesting dynamic. I like that. Uh, 
I can shoot this guy, but if I do, I might shoot the other guy. Ah, oh, screw it. So yes! When you destroy a ship, can you loot its remains? Uh, only if it's a cargo ship. Did that help me? Am I still an enemy of the split? I am still an enemy of the split. I guess that makes sense, though, because you probably don't want to salvage, like, sensitive electronic equipment from a ship you have just blown to high heaven. Oh, look, they have really unstable cracked oh missiles. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's put those on board. What could happen? No aim. These guys are magnificent. I mean, I thought I was a fast ship, but these guys blow me out of the water. This place has... The best security I've ever seen in a star system. And they also have the fastest ships I've ever seen in the universe. Faster than me is pretty impressive. I cheated to get this fast. <laughs> um, speaking of cheating, well, there's not anything in here for that, but... Let's see. Ooh. Okay, that's two ships down. Yeah, basically I can't be of much more help to you until you return to the asteroid with the uh, the missile you need. Am I am I anything? No, I'm still a, an enemy of the Duke, so... Wait, John Wayne is in space too? Yes, and he, he owns the Pyranid people, Chuck. <laughs> I'm gonna target your ship now, Pilgrim. Sorry, that was terrible. I am just constantly apologizing. See, people, this is my true personality, not what you saw yesterday. Um, this is me fumbling around and apologizing for it. <laughs> That's who I am. You know what's delicious, Mike? Hmm. Coffee. Coffee's good. I like coffee. I also like killing things. What oh, yay! Hey, shoot that guy! All right, Chuck, start giving me a beat so I can shoot this guy to, to music. Ba -da. Ba -da -da -da. What? Ba -da 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 -da. All right, that's three guys down. Really? Wow, yeah. the power of music is great. That's the whole point of this, Chuck, is to get that friggin', that friggin' missile. You have to buy it? I thought you could just find it. No, you have to buy it. And oh. I, you, you have to be allowed to buy it first. Oh. Well, you know, that actually does make sense, that there would be a process to go through before they give you, like, this crazy, powerful, asteroid-destroying missile. Um, hmm. Wow, this is boring. No, <laughs> no, it, right now we're in the middle of a fight, and fights are never boring. Yay! Fight! Let me know when you shoot somebody. I've been shooting people left and right, but they're they're escaping me. Well, how am I supposed to know that? I do. All I can hear is the sound of your voice and the occasional sound of you tapping keys. You can't hear me tapping the firing key? It's got a very distinctive tap. And... Oh! And of course, their suicidal nature to turn right around and come after me. Caused him to die because he went straight straight into my fire line. When I go out, I want to go out behind the wheel of a powerful spaceship, screaming like an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Hey, dude! I think that did it. Let okay. me check. Let me check. Pyranid enemy of the priest. Son of a... Ooh, I can land! Well, that was fast. Unlike everything else in this game ever. Okay, let me land. Also, I guess I'm going to get a docking computer pretty soon because this really is tedious. I'm not real sure what I'm landing in either. It's some kind of factory that makes a weapon or a shield, and I don't know which. <laughs> I just picked a place at <laughs> random and, and, sh and talked to them. Eh, screw you. I'm going to play some solitaire. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video, and we will continue this tomorrow. Okay. All right. More excitement coming up. Yay.